Hello, friends. Welcome back to episode 17 of our Hollow Knight playthrough. In the last episode, we are exploring this uh, Windy Canyon, or whatever it is called. We met um, a Nail Master and learned a new move called the Nail Cyclone. It looks like this. And I fought uh, one of the dream bosses called Gorb the Great Mind. I think that there's still... Yeah, this is where I fought Gorb. So I think that there is still more to explore here, though. I love this game. Sometimes everything looks so similar that I get turned around. I can't see what's below here. Always got to break all the walls because half the time there's something secret back there. Oh, I hear Cornifer. Where are you, buddy? Here we go. Enjoying the bracing air, we're quite close to Hollowness borders and those desolate plains that surround it. In this direction, I'm about as far as I'm willing to go, though it's been a pleasant change from the tight confines of those caverns. I've drawn out a small map for the area. It's a simple one and more for completion, really. Not knowing the full extent of a region can be quite frustrating. <laughs> All right, we got a map of the Howling Cliffs. Come on. can't see in here very well. It looks like there may be some blue stuff over here. Oh yeah. Wow, that's beautiful. Lawrence. 
This is not a bad place to stumble upon. Oh, what is this? Joni's Blessing. What does that do? Oops. Blessed by Joni, the kindly heretic transfigures vital fluids into blue lifeblood. The bear will have a healthier shell and can take more damage, but they will not be able to heal themselves while focusing soul. Okay. Oops. Ah. See, there's something up here, too. <laughs> Alright, we're back to Cornifer. Oh, and this goes down to the green path. Interesting. Okay, I don't think there's anything else over there. Let's go back. Getting the geo more for the just to complete things than to actually get it because it seems like even when I hit it, it goes all over everywhere. Okay, let us actually just see what's over here, because... What is it? A king's idol. Okay. No king, no mind release. All right. All right, and this is the farthest that I can go. Now, in looking at our map, it looks like somewhere down here it connects to the green path. Oh, and look what it is. Oh. 
And actually, since we're here, hmm, I wonder if there's anything else we can do quite yet. I kind of don't think so. There's so many other things to do. I think I just want to go to back to the stag trees. And that, there's actually some stuff that I can do in the ancient basin with my dive bomb move. A lot of soul, but also a lot of geo. And that was really easy. Is it through here? Mm, no. That was where we met up with Hornet. Okay. Take a look at the map real quick. Okay, so if we go to Queen Station through Deepness, no, King Station through the Royal Waterways. We want to go down here to this ancient basin. I can get to it in a couple of ways. The tram travels across. Oh, let's go upgrade our nail. That's really what we should do. Okay, we want to go to the... Mm, the City of Tears looks like it's the closest. Okay. I believe is that one is the closest, the City Storeroom. Yes. All right, let's go upgrade the nail again. I think we needed 300. So we're not too far off. something on one of those. It doesn't look like it, though. At least not that one.
I'm in a new area now. Hold on. The Mantis Village. Oh. Yeah, I don't think I really wanted to be there, did I? Mm, since I'm so close, I don't want to do this, but since I'm so close, if we go back to the Mantis Village, then we can get the Soul Tree. Let's just do it. Alright. I get sidetracked so easy in this. in air. Oh, yep. Okay, is it in here? Yes, yeah, sit down. Sometimes the little sleeping bugs have stuff that you can find and or click on, you know, and sometimes there's not. So you got to always just try. You can tell you got them all when the little uh, dream catcher things go away. Yep. Okay, good. I'm at 300 now too, so I can go back to the seer. Oh, and it looks like I can maybe get up here now? No. No, not yet. I am, you know what though? I have more markers now. Let me, uh, let me just put one right here so I don't forget. Oops. Alright, I really... Yeah, okay. I got pretty sidetracked here for a minute. I'm trying to think what the easiest way to get back is. Let's just go back up to the City of Tears. I'll just have to cross the bridge and go over again, which is fine. Alright. It's okay, I still think it was worth it because... Oh, here we go. It was worth it because we got more dream essence. All right. So here we just want to go to the right and then down when we can. I want to go down. Oh, yeah, down, 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 down. Oh, 
Oh, I guess I should save. Oh, yeah, it's a nail, too. Okay. Well, that's how we know. I could kill him in one hit. All right, let's reforge our nail again. Ah, Ranjo Stenja. Ah, you've returned. I see you have some pale ore, a rare fine metal that. Give me the ore and some geo for my efforts, and I'll reforge your nail to make it stronger. Oh, it's 800? Darn it. 800. I... Okay, well, let's let's see. Where do we want to go? I think I want to go back to the King's Station. There's still lots of stuff we can do over there. And we will get 800 in no time. I think we want to go just straight, keep going across, across, across to the right. Go up. See, there's something up to the right there. I wonder if we should try it, actually. Since we're here... Is this up all the way? I guess so. See it it looks it looks like there's something up here to the right and is it just locked or what is it I got to get it from the other side Okay I really have no desire to go back to the soul sanctum so let's just go down and to the right then Oh, 
Oh, here's the, here's the guy that we're looking for. Oh, and I saw a YouTube video earlier that shows something kind of cool. Um, uh, but saying that if uh, if you stand to the to one side, it shows shop, and you can buy stuff. But if you go to the other side, it'll do listen, and so that was kind of cool. Anyways, let's. Son? Relic Seeker Lem. Aye, aye. Come searching for rare items, have you? Well, hands off. This collection is mine, and I won't be selling to grubby little wanderers. Still, I imagine you come across many interesting items in your travels. Maybe you'd care to part with some. I'll offer a fair trade for each. Well, this is great, actually. You can sell stuff to him. And. Read together, they paint a morbid tale. It seems fate was unkind to most who traveled within Hollow Nest's ruin. So I can sell the Wanderer's Journal, sell the Hollow, sell the Hollow Nest seals, and sell the King's idols. Velmi Ardred. Velmi Ardred. Kachail, Liasokin. Hollow Nest Seal. These ornate seals were the official symbols of the king and his knights and were treasured by those who carried them. The king and his knights are long gone, but the seals still hold value as curiosities. I'll pay a modest price for them. Okay. Yeah, not bad at all. Now I can go buy all kinds of stuff. Did you know the kingdom's five great knights? They're revered figures of Hollow Nest, often mentioned in the annals of king of the kingdom but only as a group both their names and appearance seem to have been expunged from history so long has passed since their time it'd be a grand achievement to discover their identities and this is why you explore lots of stuff do you have anything else for me? If not, get your damp little self out of my home. Velmi Ardred. Kachail, Liasoki. Others have told me there's a statue out by the city's entrance depicting a large knightly figure. Could be one of the kingdom's great five. I'd have looked it over myself, but the gate's long been shut tight, and it's too much hassle taking the long way around with all those blasted husks about. Velmi Ardred. Velmi Ardred. Velmi Ardred. Opal. Velmi Ardred. Velmi Ardred. A king's idol, eh? Hollowness king was an elusive figure de deified by its citizens. With the king rarely seen, worship was offered through these idols. There's an expert craft to them. Few alive could match Velmi this skill. Ardred. King's idol. An icon of Hollowness king who, were, who was revered both as a god and a ruler. Made out of a mysterious white material. These are rare and very valuable. If you sell it to me, I'll pay a good price. Oh, Paul. If you look closely, each of these idols is subtly different. There are five fine engravings about them that take some time to decipher. I suspect each was tailored to the owner, a personalized symbol of the king's omnipotence. This short one's got an odd look about it, though vaguely familiar. Awesome. Okay, well, we <laughs> we definitely have uh, plenty of Geo now. All right, let's... Uh, I probably should save... Oops. I want to go up. Does this thing go up? Over here. Okay, I want to save my game real quick. It's a little out of the way, but 
like, that was a lot of money, and I don't want to have to redo it. All right. All right, let's go do our nail, then. Okay, I'm excited. All right, here we go. Ah, Ranjo Stenja. Junsha. As you wish, I'll get to work then. Garadel Akari. There we go. The reforging is complete. I've added a channel to your nail. It should cut much more efficiently. You'll find it stronger than it used to be. Head out there and test its blade against your foes. Hmm, Vendasu. If you bring me two piece, pieces of pale ore, I can forge it into your nail and make it stronger still. Okay. Well, stronger nail is always good. Oh, one hit now. Awesome. Let's see about this guy. This thing has some... Alright, three. It's always good against bosses to have the stronger one for sure. Well, uh, I don't know if it's a, a good use of Geo or not, but let's find a stag station and then go to, um, let's just go buy all of the missing stuff or as much as we can afford. So this, 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 oops, that sign indicates that shop where I can sell stuff. Oh, I can't get in there? How odd. Memorial to the Hollow Knight. Okay. It's the three dreamers and the king, right? Or the three dreamers and the Hollow Knight? Ah, how frustrating. Well, I guess I'll go... I'll cut through the Royal Waterways. I didn't really want to do that, but... It does look like it leads back out the other side. Oh, I can go to the ancient basin from here as well. All right.
Hmm. It looks like I want to go down more and then to the right. below this. This is where I fought the Dung Defender, right? Or very close to it. those guys now. Oops. Okay, but I can still cut through here, it looks like. Seriously? Okay, well... I guess we're not going that way after all. I, I've totally forgot. through the top then. Okay. Alright, that's right. This is where I fought the Dung Defender was up here. And he's still around, right? Ah. Alright, I can get out this way at least. That's good. Um, and I want to... Stay up here. Go to the ancient base. Uh, let's go buy stuff first. All right. 
There's a trick to those guys, and they're beatable. In fact, I like doing it because you get a ton of Geo, but... Um, unfortunately, I don't think I have the right pieces. I can get all kinds of stuff. I've totally forgot it. We can go down to the resting grounds as well. I hope I didn't need this Geo for something else. But I think at some point... Um, truly, we want to buy everything that there is to buy. <sighs> so the Warrior's Grave pin lets me find dream warriors on the map. Ah, Opum Sanjo. Ooh, I'm not too far away from another mask piece. Ooh, and that increases our soul, right? Excellent. The rancid egg I do not want. We already have like five of them. Um... Oh, yeah, well, we're here. Let's go check out our little caterpillars. Let's see. One more? Yeah, okay. Not bad. Okay, oops. That was silly. Let's see. Let's cut. Let's cut across and down because there is one more um, shop that we can go to down here. So let's do that. Down here in ages. All right. It's, uh, let's go down and down, 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 down. I'm 
getting sloppy. I'm just tired. <clears throat> Okay, to the right here. Now, I think I can buy stuff here, but I also think that um, I get rewards too, right? I need six more to get another charm notch. <laughs> uh, what she's talking about here is that certain charms um, you can combine together to get um, bonus effects. Okay, so let me see how many notches I have now and... We can equip a little bit more. So I, I can do two more spaces. I want the compass just because I, I, I do feel like I need it. The long nail is great. The dream shield is fun, but I don't feel like I need it quite yet. Uh, the quick focus I always enjoy just because it lets me heal super fast. But I don't think it's all that necessary right now. Shaman Stone is cool because you increase the power of your spells. The Dash Master is pretty cool because you move a lot faster. Gain soul in taking damage. I really like the Long Nail. So I have four spots left. Let's try this for now. Okay, and then let's see. On my map, I had something right over here. So let's just take a look real quick and see what it was. Right here? What? There's nothing here. I should just take the marker off then. Let me uh, look at my inventory too. Do I have an extra key? Mothwing cloak, mantis claw, lumify lantern, map and quill, tram pass, and five rancid eggs. No keys. Oh, we can go up to the seer though. We should do that. I was going to go take a... Uh, what do you call... The Stagway, but it looks like the tram is right here, so there's no need. Just like with any platformer, you've got to keep checking back. Um, you they constantly revisit old places, so a lot of that going on here. Uh. 
Okay, the Blue Lake, the City of Tears. Let's go to the right first. I want to take care of the stuff with the seer before I forget. And was there something here? Uh, probably. Let's not do it yet, though. Alright, and those three I can't do anything with quite yet until I... Uh, well, I've got to defeat them all first. Ooh. That's not creepy at all. of Geo. Awesome. Cool. We open up a secret place. Oh. I didn't even realize that that was not open before. Okay, all right, well, let's go back up. Uh, I really don't want to go down to this. Let's wait, let's, where does this go? I don't know if we unlocked this before. I thought we did, but... the map right now? I am off the map right now. I'm glad we came up here then. Always find uh, fun to find things that are not on the map.
Wow, so many breakable walls here. Or was that a spike? Alright, that's fine. journal so dark okay that's it oh a soul eater but what uh where is that is that this? Forgotten shaman artifact used to draw soul from still living creatures. Greatly increases the amount of soul gained when striking an enemy with the nail. Oh, it costs four. Wow. Let me rest. Oh, yeah, okay. Alright, that'll get us back up, but I see I hear something, but I thought we got everything. You hear that? Uh there might be something there, but Okay. Well, we can take this one off at least. And we definitely want to get as many charms as we can, so... Let's check in because over 200. Ooh, we unlock a new area. Awesome. There, the door is open and you can enter the glade beyond it. Listen closely in there and you may hear the utterings of bugs long gone. Now, I have 300. Being the caretaker of this place hasn't been very stimulating. I shouldn't complain, though. Tending those graves and guiding the wielder, all penitents for old crimes. Certain things have to be kept in balance. Take this trinket for your efforts and return with 500. Oh, ooh, a pale ore. Awesome, 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 awesome. I just need one more, and then we can upgrade our nail even further. Okay, so let me save real quick, because I know I can die in there. There's some optional... Uh, maybe they're not optional, but there's some bosses in there. Oh, and actually, you know what? We have been playing for an hour now, so let me just save, and then we will go 
um, explore the uh, cemetery in the next episode. Cool. Thank you very much for joining me.